everybody, my name is Sam Pirazzolo. I'm sure many of you know me. Camera like that. Um, I happen to be running for city council in the 2021 election. That's not this election cycle. That's not this election cycle. It's the uh, 2021 November. Um, but there are a lot of things happening right now in our country that uh, are definitely um, not good. And I want to talk about one thing that's happening here on Staten Island, in particular at Clove Lakes Park around the circle. A couple of weeks ago, somebody painted a thin blue line uh, in different parts of the park. You know, okay, you know, every, everybody has a right to free speech. I understand it's park's property and all. But yesterday, there's video of the New York City Parks Department painting over the blue line. Now, let me just start by saying that yesterday, Mayor de Blasio was in the newspaper complaining that there is not enough money in our budget to keep our parks clean. If you look at the trails throughout Clove Lake Parks, the trees during storms, recent storms and storms past are blocking the paths. There's no money to do that. Hikers have to climb over the trees, climb around the trees. Yet somehow there was money in yesterday's budget to get black and white paint and have the New York City Park employees, who I don't hold at fault for this because they're doing what they're told, otherwise they're going to get fired, but New York City Park employees are pouring black paint and white paint over the thin blue line just to cover it up. Let me show you the result of what happened. Take a look over here, okay? Here we have some white paint that's been painted over the blue line, but as stupid is, as stupid does, the white paint is water-based. The black paint is water-based. This, I would like to have a material safety data sheet. I'm calling on my fellow Republicans, City Councilman Joe Borelli, City Councilman Steve Matteo, who's running for borough president next year. I want a material safety data sheet on this to know that the paint used here isn't toxic. Recently, there were people walking their animals through here. Uh, you have wildlife in the park. Joggers are running through here. Don't realize this is paint. And their shoes, they come out, their shoes are going to be stained. You have the deer. You have the squirrels, you have the chipmunks, you have all of the wildlife in the park that could possibly be getting um, sick from, from drinking this water. So I'm going to push this water out because not only is it bad you know, for mosquitoes, but this is just a horrible thing. Look, look, look at what we have here. sidewalk is so poorly graded and so poorly that it's settled that the water just comes right down. All right, and look what happens. The paint comes right off. We can go around the park. You can see where the black paint was put over the blue line. Well, you don't even see the black paint anymore. So, you know, recently there was some talk over the weekend about rhinos, Republican in name only. <laughs> and, you know, I'm concerned about what's happening here on Staten Island, especially with the Republican Party. Uh, Joe, you're a friend. I consider you a friend. Steve, I consider you a friend. But where are you guys when it comes to Republicans that you endorse? Where were you guys during this pandemic? How come you're not calling out the mayor in a public way to support the people of Staten Island, the businesses on Staten Island? Uh, how do you not spearhead the lawsuits? against the mayor for allowing people to paint slogans on city streets but not allowing people to post uh, <clears throat> to paint counter posting slogans where, where are you guys the silence is deafening you know the term is rhino but i think i'm developing a new term and it's called rido r-i-d-o republican indeed only you know it's nice to be you know joe you say it all the time you're in a safe republican district so why aren't you out there talking about all of this that's going on. Where is the money coming from that covers the blue line, yet we can't empty the trash? We can't pick up the trash. You know, I think it's a sad state of events when, you know, we let Republicans attack other Republicans, but we don't stand up for Republicans in large, in general. You know, this blue line, yeah, it might have difficulties, but this blue line represents what's really good in America. This is the good, versus the bad. When people need help, who's the first person they call? They call the NYPD. That's what they're looking for. So I ask you to join me today. Stand up. 
joined the lawsuit de Blasio, spearheaded the lawsuits against Mayor de Blasio, put out a press release saying to Mayor de Blasio, either remove the slogans that have been painted in the streets or allow other people to paint the other slogans. It's a very difficult thing. Um, actually, it's really not that difficult of a thing, but you, you got to do it. You know, um, everybody, everybody needs the help. You know, we need a voice. Everyone is afraid because everybody has a contract with the city. Everybody has ties to an elected official. So no one wants to speak out because they're afraid of being hurt. And that's how socialism starts. That's how these things happen. Okay? We need to take a stand and we need to say enough is enough. No more crap. You have money for a white line? Go cut a tree down and make a path easier. You have money for a white line? Go empty the parks, clean up the parks. You have money for a white line? Go buy better PPE for teachers in New York City public schools. I say this with a clear conscience. I sleep very comfortably in my bed every night. Do you? Thank you.